Welcome to Stave Draws. I'm Steven de Groot, a Dutch illustrator and animator. And in this video, I'm going to do a review of Adobe Photoshop Sketch 4.6. First, want to thank Marco Di Mario for pointing out that the new version of Adobe Photoshop Sketch was available. And I have been waiting for that update because there's one main uh, update and that's a very important one. The size has increased a lot and you now can work in a size of 8192 pixels by 8192 pixels, which comes down to 27 inches by 27 inches at 300 dpi or 69 centimeters by 69 centimeters at 300 dpi and when you work in print that's very important you know to make art that you can also use for print so in this video i'm just going to test out uh, the new size and how the performance is and if there is any difference when you work in a, a smaller file size. So let's just test it out. So now we're just going to test out uh, the new size in Adobe Photoshop Sketch. And I'm just going to add a new file and choose new format. And the new format, the biggest format you can work with is 8192 pixels by 8000 192 pixels and as you can see you have uh, 20 layers maximum layers so i'm going to save the format and now it's a custom format tap on it and now it will open so what i'm just going to do is just test it out uh, with the biggest brushes that are available and this is really not going to be uh, an interesting illustration just want to find out how the performance is of this big size in Adobe Photoshop Sketch. And this is 4.6, by the way. So I'm now using the wet mix brush or the watercolor brush. And as you can see, when you apply paint, It will run like just normal uh, watercolors would and you can stop it by pressing on the little fan on the on the left so it stops just gonna try out some different brushes and just to see what will happen Well, this is a brush that takes a lot of CPU and I don't see any lack yet. So I'm going to create a new layer and just going to select the sketch brush, just do some sketching, maybe choose white. Make the size a little bit bigger. See if the tilt works. just gonna turn on the the time lapse because you know it takes too much time to show everything I'm drawing and when I'm back I'm just gonna do a review on how the performance of Adobe Photoshop sketch is with this big size
I'm just going to check some of the Kalti Webster brushes that are for free when you have an Adobe, uh, a full Adobe Creative Cloud membership. Just press on it and then you can um, choose the brushes that are now in Adobe Photoshop. Kind of classics, chunky charcoal. It's just a random sketch I'm doing. I'm going to draw it on top. Just some giant leaves. Well, there's no lack in uh, the brushes and these are quite big brushes to work with maybe lower the opacity a little bit more and I'm now drawing with let me see one two three four five six or seven layers so I'm just going to add some more layers just to check out uh, the performance And this is around A2 size at 300 dpi. It's uh, 27 inch by 27 inch at 300 dpi, or 69 centimeters by 69 centimeters at 300 dpi. So it's a quite large canvas to work on. And I think it's even bigger than the biggest uh, canvas size in Procreate. Add a new layer. Maybe something of a tree trunk. I have really no plan with this illustration. Just wanted to draw a pixie somehow. Here you see that it's lacking a little bit. Maybe try out some other brushes as well. Uh, let me see. Watercolor soft. Isn't really a big brush. Uh, maybe choose some other brushes. Maybe in the default brushes in Adobe Photoshop Sketch. Uh, soft pastels. Let me see how big I can make this now. I really need some, you know, big brushes to test the performance. And these are all smaller brushes. Maybe this is a big brush. Oh yeah. Just try this out. Maybe add a new layer.
Maybe duplicate this one. Just to add some more layers to it. Now working with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen layers. Just gonna add a new one. Try out another brush. Uh, Rough Rake by Kyle T. Webster. Let's see if I can make this a little bit bigger. Need this on top. See a little bit of a lack here in this brush. And we change the color a little bit. Select a new color. Select a new layer again. Here you can really can see the structure of the brushes. That's what I really like about Adobe Photoshop Sketch now is that you have all of the brushes of Kyle T. Webster especially when you're doing more um, illustration kind of stuff. He has some cool uh, brushes out. And these are just in the default settings or the, the default brushes, the sketch brushes of Adobe Photoshop Sketch. But, you know, there are just a lot of other um, brushes as well. As made over time for Adobe Photoshop. And... They're now all available in Adobe Creative Cloud. And I'm just going to save this. So press close. And this is the real time how much it takes to save an image at 8192 pixels by 8192 pixels. And this takes a long time. So that's really unfortunate. But the great thing about it is that you, you know, now can draw in bigger sizes in Adobe Photoshop Sketch. And especially when you're doing spreads for a magazine or for print media or want to make a poster, this is uh, a great improvement. But you only need to work on the rendering time of saving uh, this image. Adobe Photoshop Sketch 4.6 also has another update and that is free up storage. Tap on free up space to free up space from your device. 
Artworks that you don't use anymore will be offloaded from your device and will be uploaded to your Adobe Creative Cloud. The thumbnail of the artwork will stay in your gallery, indicated with the Adobe Creative Cloud icon to the left of the title of your artwork. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you want to learn everything about Adobe Photoshop Sketch, I've made an ebook and also it's available as a video series and the ebook and video series is called Adobe Photoshop Sketch Video Manual. And I'll leave links in the description box down below so that you can uh, download the ebook or um, buy it on Vimeo On Demand. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you like it, please give it a thumbs up or subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to hit that notification bell because each time I upload a new video, you get a notification. Drawing is fun and practice makes perfect. See you next time. Doodles!